as the toll mounts across America. Socially distanced mourners here are saying farewell to another victim. Margaret Boone, one of 125,000 Americans who have died of COVID-19. We saw the grief of loss, but also the frustration of a family that feels that many Americans are in denial about the gravity of the crisis. The number's going to keep rising, and I'll just plead, plead with the, everybody, plead with the president. Don't take it lightly. People are losing their loved ones. People got to have closed casket, as I do for my mom. People can't even go to the cemetery. That complacency is evident across the nation. These were the weekend scenes in Michigan. Summertime on the lakes, as if the pandemic has come and gone. And on beaches on both coasts, it is a similar story. This is Delaware. And on the boardwalk of Venice Beach in California, social distancing seems a forgotten practice. The president himself last week has set the tone, suggesting the surging infections in America is nothing to be taken seriously. If we didn't test, we wouldn't have cases. But we have cases because we test. Deaths are down. We have one of the lowest mortality rates. His vice president was wearing a mask yesterday at a Texas megachurch and encouraged others to do the same. But then look at the choir. And in Arizona, one group was mocking the very idea of wearing masks, even appropriating the slogan of Black Lives Matter. I can't breathe! The U.S. death toll is now surging, and experts warn the window for containing the virus here is narrowing fast. Robert Moore, ITV News, Washington.